Now, an ode to Karens, brought to you by Blurds in the Hood. Now, before we go into this dedication, you must be asking yourself, well, what is a Karen and what does it mean? Well, Karen is a mocking slang term for an entitled, obnoxious, middle-aged white woman, especially as featured in memes. Karen is generally stereotyped as having a blonde bob haircut, asking to speak to retail and restaurant managers to voice complaints or make demands, and being a nagging, often divorced mother from Generation X. Karens most notably have been known now to call the police on black people when they're just doing this thing called living. You know, something that God allowed them to do. This includes Barbecue Becky, Permit Patty, Sleepin' Sarah, and a host of others. And typically, Karens feel that because they are white women, they are entitled to do whatever they want and make life choices based on their insecurities as well as fears. Well, here are a few moments of wild Karens caught in their natural habitat. <laughs> y'all, y'all, I wish you could see backstage. I wish you could because that was, that was, <laughs> I think I broke Jay. I think I fucking broke him. Oh my God. I'm, in, I'm crying. Oh. <laughs> I think, I think I broke Jay, bro. Ooh. That shit is hilarious. Oh shit. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> oh my god oh god all right y'all here's your care for the day a bitch yeah put, put it on your face put it on his face all right let's see all what's right, up guys on. so we're over here filming over here exercising look what this lady wants to tell us go ahead let us know go ahead i said you're a scumbag uh-huh you're child pedophilers uh-huh. faggot bitches uh-huh. that turn into terrorists okay yeah. You fuck each other's asses, okay. suck each other's dicks, okay. and rape children, and right. turning and you're ter- terrorists now because you hate yourself so much. Okay. Now you're taking pictures in front of a plane uh. to remind you of 9/11. Uh huh. I'm gonna feel stupid taping this, right? Put it on you. Famous. Holy shit! All right, now let's get our license plate. Hey, you, you, <laughs> you cannot make this shit up. You can't even make this up, bro. What the fuck? We can't make this up. Let me get your license plate. <laughs> Look at this girl. Put your license plate down. You gonna run me over too? Oh, you so American you that you look like you're not terrorist? You gonna run us over? I would never do that. No. Oh. I'm putting y'all on Facebook. Go ahead. You really, Go ahead. really, really feel stupid. No, I'm you're really gonna not be... going to feel stupid you're because be really you're not American top team. You're American terrorist. Yeah. And God told me so. <laughs> God is in your brain and your brain. How, hey, look, hey, hey, look, hold on. Show how, everybody how stupid, whose dick you suck. How stupid show everybody whose dick you suck. About God show everybody whose dick you suck. Like a dumbass. Show hey, everybody hey, whose hey, dick you hey, his. Hey, his hey, dick. He's a hoarder, too. Oh, no, you're a fucking hoarder. <laughs> Come on, look at this. I know they're a little American. You're a hoarder. Yo, I'm a fucking Middle Eastern and you're a hoarder watching hey, American look. television. Watch hey. American television about hoarders. That's American television. That's American television. God's going to come here with you two. Right. In front of the airplane. Right. Trying to act like you're so cool with 9 11. You suck his dick, right? You're child pedophile. Your pedophiles, right? Well, look at him. Where's look at him. Look at him, the guy's dick you suck. You, the guy taping it, you suck his dick. He sucks your dick. Hey, you both what bend kind of, over. What kind of shirt is that? That's Africa shirt. That's Africa. That's right. That's not you. Africa loves God. You don't love God. You don't love God. Hey, so, uh, sorry, that was just supposed to say go. Uh, so Jay has a show. He has to get cross town. So Jay, plug anything, and then I'll I'll close out. All right. Uh, Saturday, I am in Cypress, California. I'm wrestling again. If you want to see me in a wrestling ring this Saturday, 3PW, I've been putting up the flyer on my Instagram, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Mr. Jay Washington. Mad Titan's getting recorded this weekend because i couldn't get it done this week i just couldn't um that hope that half it needs to burn in bleach panties um <laughs> yeah, i gotta a terrible fucking human you gotta go though it's fine i gotta go uh, i gotta go i gotta go I gotta yeah. out. bye all right y'all uh so it's just me um yeah, fuck that, Karen. I don't really have much to say about her. I didn't pick her. Dave did it. I, it is what it is. Uh, fuck that bitch. I, I hope she dies alone. Um, 
there's one other story that we didn't get to that I really want to talk about quickly, uh, just because how how much it impacts so many members of the neighborhood. Um, as an ally, infuriates me to no end. Uh, I don't have a uh, asset for it, but if you aren't paying attention in Florida, uh, a bill called the "Don't Say Gay" bill uh, was just pushed for. It was proposed by legislation in Florida and is pushed for, and it would restrict how teachers can discuss sexuality and gender in the classroom. Uh, this is Republican lawmakers doing this, and specifically, the bill itself uh, essentially says that. School districts are not allowed to encourage classroom discussion about sexual orientation and gender identity in primary grade levels or in a manner that is not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students. The biggest issue is the bill doesn't specify how age appropriate or developmentally appropriate would be defined. So every single person that understands and is trying to defend rights knows that this is an extremely dangerous bill that will do nothing but alienate LGBTQ youth in Florida, uh, including Biden, who spoke out against it and specifically said, uh, you know, I want every member of the LGBTQI plus community, especially kids who will be impacted by this hateful bill to know that you are loved and accepted just as you are. I have your back and my administration will continue to fight for the protections and safety you deserve. Um, I don't want to end the show on any sort of negative note, but I need people to know about this, especially any of the people in the neighborhood that are in Florida. Um, it's absolutely fucking disgusting, especially when you think about the fact that the most important time for kids tends to be around that age to, to, if you, if you go around putting all the shame and taboo and whatnot, that's how you see so many people harm themselves or, or take their own lives because that's why the whole, it gets better campaign became a whole thing. Um, so it's absolutely fucking disgusting. So if any of you are in Florida and, or anything like that, I mean, harass the fuck out of your, your 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 you know you know your reps and don't let them get away with this shit. To my knowledge, I know it's pushed forward. I don't think it is fully law quite yet. Uh, but Santos's bitch ass is is backing it as well. Um, so I just I just needed it to be out there. I needed to say something. And again, um, I, I I just yeah. And and Jimmy Nail said it best right now. It sets a really bad precedent. Um, I see you wrote president, but it's totally fine. I know you meant precedent and this will pop up in five other states this weekend. You're not wrong. That's, that's the problem is the same way you had, uh, what AB five, I believe is the bill in Texas for abortion. This will only spur on other shitty ass fucking red state. Blurreds in the hood every Tuesday and Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, all full episodes exclusively available on Twitch for the month of February. www.twitch.tv slash B-L-E-R-D-S, the letter N-T-H-E-H-O-O-D. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.